So hey guys and welcome back to the channel and on today's video we're actually down in Preston at Preston Motorcycles and we're out test riding the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. So if you would like to know more on this bike stick around and stay tuned, we'll be right back. So hey welcome back, the Royal Enfield 650 Interceptor not ridden one of these before, but one of my subscribers asked if it was possible for me to go and do a test ride on one, see what they're like. Preston Motorcycles have kindly lent me this motorcycle, so thanks guys, much appreciated. Got this uh, nice blue tank, uh, they do a lot of different colours and different tanks, including a lovely chrome one. So I'll just pop up on the screen the, uh, the colour options that you've got a choice from, and also the, uh, the price point of this bike. What we'll do, we'll take it for a nice run out, and then uh, we'll stop somewhere, and I can give you a, uh, a good look round. Okay, so the Royal Enfield Interceptor, and I was asked from one of my subscribers would I actually bring this uh, bike out and test ride it, and uh, give you my thoughts. So uh, let's run through the specs of the bike a little bit. Uh, it's a 648cc air-cooled motorcycle. And this has 46.8 brake horsepower at 7,150 RPM and 52.3 newton meters of torque at 5150 RPM. The headlight on this bike is a normal bulb and you've got a little LED running light just at the bottom. Uh, you've got standard indicators on this bike. Uh, you've got a six-speed transmission. I love how they've got the, uh, the chrome engine covers and a lot of chrome on this bike. You've got two pipes coming out, so one per cylinder, and it's a 270 degree crank on this bike, so it sounds quite lovely, and I'll give you a sound check shortly. What's nice is they've put a, a fender extender on the mudguard, so it doesn't uh, splash crap up at the uh, oil cooler just there. So on the, uh, the rear, of the motorcycle you've got a 130-70 tyre. I'm not quite familiar with the brand of tyres that are on this bike and on the front you've got a 100 by 90 with uh, 41 millimeter, 110 millimeter of travel on the non-adjustable front forks. They've got the little gaiters on just there and then on the rear uh, these are preload only shocks, single coil and you've got uh, 80 eight millimeters of travel and one on each side. Uh, you've got a single front disc with the uh, twin pot calipers and they look to be non-branded and that's on 320 millimeter discs on the front with ABS and then you've got a single pot caliper on the rear with a 240 millimeter disc again you've got ABS. The tank you've got like a Monza style fuel cap just at the top just here with a key it's lockable and also the tank comes in 13.7 litres and then you've got 4.2 litres per 100 kilometres you do have a centre stand just there so ease of uh, lubrication of chain and things like that and also you've got a side stand one thing that I noticed as standard as well, you've got a grab rail on the back for a pillion, which is nice. On some bikes you have to pay extra for that. And also the bike is A2 license compatible. Seat on the bike is uh, very plush, very comfy. You've got like a cross stitched effect. So you've got some nice rubbered foot pegs on the bike. And also uh, the gear shifts are really, really smooth. Clutch action is really smooth on the bike. Uh, it's non-adjustable clutch lever and a non-adjustable brake lever. Now the non-branded brake calipers on the front are Bybury, apparently. Normally it's written on them, uh, but that's actually the uh, cheaper version of the Brembo. And it says, obviously, Bybury on the master cylinder just there. You've got uh, standard clocks, tachometer, speedometer, a fuel gauge, total mileage, and very basic, but all you need really. Switch gear, uh, very basic, but it, uh, it does the job. The normal horn, your lights, full and dip beam, and then a flash, and then you start stop button on the other side. The exhausts don't look too big. Uh, they actually quite complement all the rest of the chrome 
on the bike. That's the Royal Enfield 650 Interceptor. <laughs> Got a nice sound to it anyway. Let's go and uh, see what this bike's all about, shall we? It's an absolute lovely sound that comes from these engines. Obviously very popular. When I was talking to the guys down at Preston Motorcycles, they were saying the, uh, the Royal Enfield brand's really popular, especially on the A2 license category. And they do, I think, a 350cc Meteor as well, which I saw, which comes with a, uh, a lovely double seat unit, which was very nice. So the weather's not fantastic today, but the roads are, are dry, at least, for now. So if you've got any spots of rain on the lens, apologies for that. Now the only thing I can compare this to is something like the Triumph Street Twin. And initial thoughts on comfort, uh, the Street Twin's a little bit more comfy, the seat's a little bit hard on this one. Seating position though, uh, it's quite comfortable, it's very upright. Let's see what it's like on the uh, dual carriageway. And it picks up really well. Throttle is really smooth. From what I can see with build quality on the bike, it's very good really for the money, for the price you're paying. Obviously little things like uh, non-adjustable clutch lever or brake lever, I don't think you really need on uh, something like this. Obviously brakes, let's just give them a test, nothing behind me. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, brakes work well. Have a look at the back brake. Yeah, pretty good. A little bit of ABS intervention just there. Obviously it's a naked bike, so you've no wind protection. Um, but the beauty about these bikes is they're really customable. You know, you can get a ton of aftermarket parts. And one thing I like that they do on this bike is they, uh, they stick to the chrome engine covers and things as they used to in the past. Uh, I don't believe they do like a blacked out version at all of this. The colours of the tanks are really nice. They do a really nice chromed, like uh, brush type finish tank. I think looking at the tyres, like I say, I couldn't tell what brand they were from looking at the uh, sidewalls. I think the first thing I'd change is uh, put a decent set of tyres on this. Obviously for the price they're not going to put you know, a good set on. Suspension, um, it's soaking the bumps up. It's not as plush, I would say, as the more expensive uh, Triumph Bonnevilles and things like that. But it just depends on your budget and your price range. I think for the, the price it is a lovely, lovely bike. Can't fault it there. For the looks, it, uh, it does it alone, really. It's a Royal Enfield. What more do you want? Yeah, those brakes are really, really good. Now, I don't see a hazard warning light switch on here. And I noticed, because when you do indicate, both indicators, left and right, come on. So it really doesn't tell you which indicator you've got on. Which is a, a shame, because I actually thought my hazard warning lights were on then. They're not. So it's sad that the, the rain's come. So I do like the clocks on this bike. Just dead simple, no fuss. Speedometer, tachometer, fuel gauge, odometer, and that's all you need. I think there's too many electronics on bikes these days, and I know they're for safety and things, but it just gets all a bit too fussy sometimes on the TFT dashes. I much prefer the, uh, the analog. One thing I did notice as well, obviously it's got these Vibre, uh, which are the, the cheaper Brembo brakes, but also it's got braided stainless steel lines on it as well. So you can't beat that for the money, can you? It's very good. And I think suspension wise, um, yes, on the rear you've got adjustable preload. On the front there's no adjustment whatsoever. So if you're carrying uh, passengers on the bike, you've got the preload on the rear, so that's all good. But on the front I don't think you need it. It feels quite firm. Yeah, it soaks up all the bumps, which is really nice. As with most mirrors, um, they're not too bad actually. A little bit of my elbows uh, showing in there. But I think if you were to get one of these, then you would put bar and mirrors on to give it that more classic look. It's one of those bikes that you can sit at the cafe and just look at it. It really is stunning. Uh, I'm not sure about this blue. Looks like a baby blue type paintwork. Or which one I would choose from the, the lineup. I think if you're going to go for a Royal Enfield Interceptor, then I would go for the, uh, the chrome tank. It does look stunning. I'll pop a picture up just now of the uh, the chrome version. 
filtering wise you would have no issues whatsoever on this bike it's nice and slim now sadly I've only got this bike for an hour so uh, I'm heading back towards Preston Motorcycles now but I will be back down to these guys to take out some of the uh, the other bikes also with them being a Kawasaki dealer there is a Z900 and I will be taking that out I think next week for a test ride see how that compares quite looking forward to taking that bike out and have done for a while and if there are any other motorcycles that you'd like to see me test ride guys courtesy of Preston Motorcycles uh, thank you very much and uh, they're also a Suzuki dealer so you've got uh, Kawasaki, Suzuki, the Royal Enfield and the guys did mention to me what other bikes they sell and their dealers for so I'll put all of them on the screen just now and you can see that and if you're interested in any of those bikes then uh, give them a call really helpful chaps book a test ride come down and see them so my final thoughts on this bike if you were in the market and the price range and wanted a classic and something that's a2 compliant obviously it's a 650 engine so there's plenty of torque all you need really good build quality yeah i'd go and check out one of the royal enfields so what have we got coming up on the channel in the uh, the coming weeks so we're back on the mt10 sp for a few videos and then we've got the triumph rocket 3 coming on the 1st of september so we'll be uh, heading down to the motorcycle news the mcn festival so looking forward to that so yeah if you like the videos guys and uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, if you're a subscriber already, thanks and I appreciate your support and uh, cheers. So we're just arriving back at Preston Motorcycles now. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on another video guys. Take care.